Welcome to week eight of my Trading for a Living challenge, where the goal is to make the average US income, which is around $53,500. And I'll be doing that using $125,000 of capital. And if you are brand new, the playlist is down below, which goes through every single week, the trades, the charts, all that kind of good stuff. And most importantly, you know, how am I actually doing this in terms of a trading strategy? But at a very high level, I am selling options for premium on various stocks. And we'll go through that in this video as well to generate that income that I'm withdrawing to then obviously pay off the bills and all these kind of good things. So we are at week eight. So we are at the month two milestone. So what we'll be doing in this video is walking you guys through where, where we are, you know, cumulative year to date. Uh, how did week eight go individually? We'll look at the trades. We'll look at the charts, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, all I ask for is that you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe because I'm doing weekly videos on this just to keep you guys updated. And I know a lot of you guys are following along on this challenge as well. So appreciate that. And let's get into it. So we like to always start at the cumulative side to see where we are year to date. So if we were doing a nine to five job earning around fifty three and a half thousand dollars, we should be at the end of month two at eight point two K in terms of from a trading perspective. You can see that we closed at seven point three K, which is just under or just over nine hundred dollars or eleven percent behind the target. And considering that, <clears throat> you know, to spend 40 hours to generate eight point two K and to spend two hours to generate 7.3K, I'm quite happy, you know, being $910 behind uh, from, from that perspective, which is, um, which is absolutely fantastic because selling options doesn't take a lot of time, especially if you know what you're doing. At the beginning, you know, you've got to learn your platform, learn how to roll options, and I've got many videos on that. And again, make sure you subscribe because I'm doing lots of challenges and videos about teaching you guys how to trade options properly. And um, and yeah, so I can't complain. As you can see, we were 8% down um, at the end of month one, and now we're 11% down at the end of month two. We were as high as 14% behind, but the last two weeks haven't been that bad, especially on Tesla, which is the main stock that I'm selling options on to generate that premium. So we talked about the time. You know, again, for me personally, it doesn't take that long uh, to place these trades, to analyze the charts and various other things. If we look at, um, week eight in particular, we did beat the target. We got just over twenty one dollars over the uh, one thousand twenty nine that we need to hit, which was two percent. And again, majority of this is coming from Tesla, which you guys, if you've been following, know this, <clears throat> or if you're new, you know, you'll soon learn very shortly when we go into the trades. And then, just in terms of the capital, we had to use slightly more capital this week, and that's primarily down to Tesla has been rising. Uh, with Tesla rising, obviously, I need to roll my strike up to generate that premium uh, to be able to uh, make that money. In terms of from a month two perspective, we are, you know, what's that looking at uh, over here? We made three and a half thousand dollars. And if we compare that to month one, three point seven K. So we are slightly behind in terms of where we are. But if you guys remember, my goal is to make two and a half thousand dollars right at a minimum to pay for the bills because bills don't stop if you make no money so we clearly beat that very comfortably at three and a half thousand dollars so if we head over to the trading tab so you can see here what we've been doing if we firstly look at tesla um in, at the end of week seven we sold the 275 per and we made 2.3k um obviously we have to do a big roll here because we had to roll down and out in expiration which was a bit of a challenge for us but fortunately tesla has been rising <clears throat> so, we, so we made the 275 per which we managed to buy back for 27 dollars uh for the three contracts and then we we had to put our strike up which i don't really like to do I don't really like to put my strike up but i had to to generate that premium so the net premium we generated uh was 948 dollars of the 1000 so majority coming from there so if we if we look at tesla on the chart you know tesla's been on a rise we had that drop due to the inflation report that came out this week but it's absolutely ripped it since then and made a made a higher high off that so hopefully we can continue to push up next week and testing these highs 
of 314, which then will depreciate my option value. The bit I like about this, we do have a missed um, <clears throat> weekly pivot at the moment, which unless Tesla has a massive teardown, I think this will be a missed pivot. So this is a potential area of support to watch out for in the coming week. And we're slightly above it, but <clears throat> So I do think we'll probably hit our strike next week. And one thing, again, because I'm producing this as a challenge and I need to make these videos for you, ideally, I would have waited until next week to place this put option. But, you know, it is what it is. It's, you know, I have to balance out trying to get this content out for you guys than in reality what I would probably do. So this is kind of where we are at the moment on Tesla. And again, we've already hit our September monthly pivot as well i'll just bring up the meta chart and then we'll head back over to here um and as always i take screenshots of the trades so you guys can see and work out of of the trades that i've done there just for visibility purposes meta is an, another problem here so if we actually go to the chart meta has made a new uh yearly low at 149 or got as low as uh, one forty nine eighty eight. So you know, I had a strike at one sixty. We had this nice support area, which has been broken since the inflation report has continued to dip. Um, so what I've decided to do is I could have taken assignment, but because I already made nine hundred odd dollars here, and I wanted to kind of get that one thousand psychological barrier as a total, I just sold it again for next week at the same strike. Uh, to generate $102. I don't mind taking assignment at 160. Um, but overall, I was quite, um, so you can see 102 uh, on there. I thought, let's give it another week. Let's see what happens. Does it rebound for next week? And can I potentially push this strike down and out <clears throat> in the coming week? So fortunately, Tesla's done well, which has taken the bulk and that's allowed me to just roll and give myself more time at the 160 <clears throat> um, there. And there's nothing really going on here. We do have a missed um, weekly pivot, mainly down to the inflation report, which is the only good thing for us at the moment. Um, we've also got one up here, which nearly got hit, but just missed there. So, you know, at this point, I'm I'm just holding at the moment. Just see if I can keep rolling it out at the 160, generating 100 um, then I'll do that. And if we look at the capital I've got available, I didn't need to use it because I hit the 1000 goal, <clears throat> but I have this $22,000 available, which I'm thinking if I am assigned on Meta, I will start to sell another put on Meta um, <clears throat> to generate more premium while I generate covered call income with the uh, with Meta. So that's where my head is with this 22K is to use that. So Meta is a bit of a challenge. Um, you know, we're looking potentially at assignment. Um, Tesla is working out well. Hopefully, it continues to test new highs before it starts to pull back slightly to depreciate this option value. But as Tesla rises, I'm using more capital. As you can see here, you know, we started, okay, if we do pre stock split, uh, post stock split, um, I did have a 290, then I dropped down to 275, and now back up to 290. So, I am going with the wave of Tesla, trying to use the technicals as some sort of a guidance on where to place those stock prices. I don't like to have this much lenience on Tesla, but the volatility is there and I kind of have to do it to hit these goals. So hopefully that was all good on the screen. Now you should have the wheel strategy, which is what this strategy is in more detail as well as the full playlist. If you guys want to go back and watch previous videos and I should see you guys in the next video.